Hello everyone, so today we're playing some Ground Branch Terrorist Hunt. Uh, we haven't really played too much of this game at all on the channel. Uh, I tried this game a year ago, and it was in a rougher state. Like, I didn't like the controls, it wasn't very intuitive as to how to find a game or how to get into a game. We're just gonna be playing solo here and showcasing a couple of things, just because uh, it's a new game for me to play. And it's, it's pretty interesting. So it's focused more on, like, the CQB tactical side of things. Not so much like Squad, but kind of like Sandstorm. Uh, kind of like Rainbow Six Siege. And kind of like Tarkov, if all three of those had, like, a baby. That's kind of where we're at right now. Um, but we're playing Terrorist Hunt versus AI. And I think co-op versus AI is, like, a very underutilized uh, feature in games. Like, just having AI in games allows you to do so many different things. I think tactical shooters really benefit from having co-op versus AI because... It's a really slow-paced game, and having, like, defenders sit on the slow-paced side of, of the uh, match, on the defending side, it's, it's, it gets boring. So that's why it's kind of hard to have these kind of tactical shooters uh, versus other players, because, like, the rounds will take forever, because you're clearing rooms, taking things methodically and slow. But with co-op versus AI, as you guys have seen in the Sandstorm videos, you can actually have a lot of fun versus AI, because you can take things as slow as you want, work as a team, clear... Uh, rooms and everything and sandstorm the hardcore co-op with just two or four guys is some of the most fun i've had in gaming just because you're breaking things down to the very 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 uh, granular granular level and working through things as a team unfortunately we're just running solo but we're going to showcase the customization here and stop stop talking <laughs> so first off you can customize a lot of stuff in this game. So, for example, the molly here, like, you can take off pouches. Uh, you can <laughs> you can actually mess with the molly on your uh, on your rig and actually place things where you want to place them. So that's that's a really cool feature um, that I haven't seen in many games. Uh, and then the weapon customization, very akin to uh, Tarkov. It's not the exact same thing, but one cool thing that you can actually do uh, about these weapons of course is that you can actually mess with the rail placement so you can actually take this peck and move it where on the rail you want it it's <laughs> it's very impressive uh that they're able to to have this level of customization and i think it's like really cool uh because we don't really see this too often a lot of games you just pick the the attachment and it just you know plops on the weapon i think more customization and control is a great way to invest your player into the game because then their character feels like their character the weapons that they have feel like their weapons so Enough talking. We're going to get out of the ready room here and start a match. Um, we're playing on Small Town, I believe. Uh, we'll start on the southwest side. Now, this is like my third round of playing, so I don't expect us to like clear the map. I think I put about 30 bots, so that might be, you know, <laughs> a lot of enemies. We'll see. Um, but yeah, cool features are you can, you can change your ready position, like high ready, ready, and low ready, um, just to like not flag your teammates when you're pushing around corners and, and doing CQB stacking and stuff like that. Uh, but this is Terrorist Hunt, and it's very reminiscent to, like, how Rainbow Six Siege... Or, not Siege, but Rainbow Six used to have their Terrorist Hunt. Um, just a reminder, this game is in early access. It's pretty rough around the edges, but there's a lot of potential here, I think. Especially with the co-op versus AI. Like, room clearing and stuff like that. Oh, God. Um, and they even allow a ton of customization options among the the AI systems. So, a lot of control over what you want to play and how you want to play. That's a lot of dudes. Okay, I think 30 was too many. Uh, there's one on the right there. Just making sure left is clear before I take this shot. Oh, God, there's so many bots. Okay. I might have made a mistake. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, okay, we're going to try that again. We brought the uh, <laughs> we brought the bot numbers down to 20. Uh, the recommended is 15. <laughs> so, I don't know what I was thinking, bumping it to 30, but that was pretty interesting. Um, so, back down to 20 on the small town kind of mount layout here that they've got. Uh, I really want to see, like, an indoor... An I want to see an elaborate indoor scenario where you're just going through all these rooms and all these compounds. Just because I think that'd be a lot of fun uh, with a group of four guys. Oh, shit. Being able to just push through rooms and clear rooms with flashbangs and everything. It's kind of harder, of course, to clear these buildings with one guy, because the second I take out my frag, I might get pushed. Or... 
All right. Or flashbang, I might get pushed. I can't really bound or do any tactics. So, unfortunately, I can't showcase, like, the teamwork that co-op versus I usually brings out in people. But, uh, you know, maybe we'll pull some friends into play. Because I think that's where this game is really going to shine, is, is working with teammates in these CQB environments. Right? So. I want to load real fast. So, like, we'll just showcase storing a flashbang real fast. So, as you can see, still early access and rough around the edges, but... I think, I think it's got a lot of potential um, as the game develops and as, you know, they improve their bot and AI um, structure. The maps are already looking pretty good. Um, movement's a little funny but it's to be expected for a game like this. Oh my God. Yeah, let's go back. One cool thing that we can showcase, I don't think there's anyone near us, is uh, incremental door opening, which is really cool, right? So you can use your mouse wheel and open the door however much you want to open it. So that's like one thing that really demonstrates like how in-depth you can get with the CQB stuff like Sandstorm honestly has a lot of cool features for CQB or just like granular tactics and stuff Cut. just the simple ability to like scavenge mags or kick doors right it's really cool stuff and as you can see very minimalistic uh, HUD oh god I love minimalistic HUDs. I think everyone should, every tactical game needs to have minimalistic HUDs. But uh, yeah, we'll try to see if we can get a, a squad running this or a group running this. Though I do think it'd be more fun in a pair and just crank up the bot difficulty in numbers. I think that'd be insane. Uh, but I like what I see so far. We've never really played this game on the channel before. Let me know down in the comments what you think so far and what your impressions are. Because it's something fresh, at least for me. I'm going to clear this building. So let's see if we can, like... We'll do that, and then this, and then this. Yeah, <laughs> just imagine going through this building. With bots everywhere. And having to work with a, a team. I love room clearing. It's just the amount of thinking you have to do when you're clearing a building is is a lot of fun. It's not just point and shoot like normal shooter games. You actually have to think through the problem. It's also like kind of terrifying. Okay. Alright. Got another building over there to clear. But yeah, I think if Sandstorm had a mode like this as well, like Terrorist Hunt, where everything's just slowed down. <laughs> Shit. Oh, he's in the window. I don't want to peek that same angle. Let's close this door, too. Um, I'm going to go upstairs. See if we can get him out of the window. Someone just opened the door. Oh, and he hit me in the face. Uh, so, yeah. Pretty challenging with one person. I think it'd be a lot more fun with a, a group of people or, like, j even just a buddy. So, I think this game has a ton of potential. It's It's got a couple different maps. The game is still being developed. They got a lot of systems and a lot of cool things they can add. But you kind of get the vibe that they're going for, right? It's like a, a slower-paced tactical room-clearing um, game with a lot of customization. And, and that's something that I think has a place in the market right now. Because Tarkov is too PvE-oriented um, and too much oriented towards, like, just gathering stuff and, and loot and shoot. 
whereas like Sandstorm's a little too fast paced and a little more on the arcadey side. Uh, and then Rainbow Six Siege, like it has the room clearing, but it just doesn't have the the level of uh, of not not intensity because six or uh, Siege can get pretty intense, but like realism, I guess, because you got like weird drones going around everywhere and special abilities and stuff. So I think this is a good healthy balance of all of those put in a tactical, you know, immersive kind of uh, spot in the market. So we'll see how Ground Branch uh, develops. I'm excited to play more of this. Uh, we'll see if we can grab a buddy and get a couple room clearing scenarios going. But I think it's really great. And uh, we only played with one of the guns. Like, we can go through and showcase, like, the rest of the guns here. You got SMGs. You got shotguns. You got carbines and rifles. You got um, DMRs. And then you even have an LMG. Uh, a, a ton of sidearms here that you can use and customize as well. And then, of course, just the general, like... You also have night maps. So I would, I'd be very interested to see how the night vision uh, actually functions in this game. Because I know a lot of games get the night vision kind of weird. Um... Yeah, a lot of customization. Uh, it's it's really cool to see this. I, I'm really excited for this game because I, I do think it, it has a lot of potential. But anyways, guys, that's all I've got for you today on Ground Branch. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and a special thanks to my channel members. If you enjoyed my content and want to contribute, check out that blue join button down below. Looking to buy this game? Head over to KarmaCut.com where you can buy my favorite games and official merch. Wondering where to find more content to watch? Check out our last video here or sub on the right for future uploads. Finally, thank you so much for watching, I really do appreciate it, and I hope I see you in the next one.